guys what's up welcome you in code java interview question and answer in this video tutorial we are going to talk about one of the very important java interview question and question is here what is difference between using serializable and externalizable interfaces in java guys before proceeding uh, further let me tell you in this video tutorial we'll see the basic difference from interview point of view we are not going to look into the any practical example as far as practical example concern there are many videos I had uploaded on the KK Java tutorials. You can go and watch regarding the serialization. So let's see what's the difference between serialization and externalizable, externalizable interface in Java. So first difference is externalizable interface extends serializable interface itself, adding two method write, exter write external and read external for uh, serialization and deserialization purpose. Yeah. Now next difference is in case of serializable default serialization is used while in case of externalizable the complete serialization control goes to the application a setting that means we cannot benefit from the default serialization process when we choose externalizable interface yeah so when you choose uh, externalizable interface then defaults default uh, serialization process will not be in the picture yeah now next difference is we generally choose externalizable when we want to save output in our custom format which is other than java default serialization format like csv database flat files xml etc right so when you perform the uh, basically serialization using serializable interface then basically object output you save into the byte format right but uh, sometimes if you want uh, object output in some custom format like CSV, flat files, XML, etc., then uh, uh, we have to uh, achieve the serialization process using externalizable interface. Yeah. Now next point says read external and write external methods are used to handle the serialization in case of externalizable interface. Yeah. Now last but not the least, in case of serialization, object is reconstructed using data read from the uh, from uh, object input stream but in case of externalizable public no argument constructor is used uh, to reconstruct the object right so when you uh, use serialization process right so once you serialize the object right then uh, you can uh, basically uh, deserialize it by using object input stream and you can serialize ob uh, object uh, uh, using object output stream right so uh, using object output stream you can write uh, object into the basically byte format right that's the serialization right and uh, same if you want to reconstruct it right then object input stream comes into the picture in case of serialization yeah but uh, in case of externalizable basically no argument constructor is is used to reconstruct the object or deserialize the object so that's all i have in this in this video guys i hope you enjoyed learning this video if you really like this video then hit on the like button and if you want to learn java in much more detail then you can refer our website kkjavatutorials.com thank you so much